Welcome everyone and welcome back to the stream where we've got a uh, UCG gaming and CC elites in here. We're going to be casting uh this is the semifinal quarterfinal match 2. Uh we just had artifacts versus juices and that was a huge stomp for artifacts. Uh so now we get to see CC elites and UCG battle it out. Hello, I'm Stalak and I am here to co-cast with Ink. Um I'll be running through the roster real quick here. Uh, UCG Gaming is up top here, and then CC Elites is on bottom. Um, UCG CKZ is going to be scoping, it looks like. Uh, UCG Terry is going to be rifle, uh, get outlet, or face, or plug, or whatever. I don't even. I'll just go with face. Uh, is I was going calling to... it face. <laughs> okay, face is going to be rifling, premium lead is going to be rifling, and UCG key is going to be rifling. While on CC leads, we've got Yunana going to be rifling, CC Envy is going to be rifling, CC Fate is going to be rifling, uh, CC Mountain Dew is going to be rifling, and it's going to be Point Man. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to be running scope for the CC Elites team, which is an interesting strap. I mean, I think uh, K Top actually pulled that one off against. or not. Hold it off, but I mean they they went against Defcon using that same strategy. Uh, CC elites their scope is J Janan or Janan or something, um, and he's not in the room right now, so uh, that's probably why they don't have a scope. Uh, let's see. Interesting. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll run through different players and their skill levels. Uh, UCG CKZ. Um, he's a Pretty capable player at both uh, rifle and scope. I think he usually MK3s with the rifle and, and scope. I don't know if he's gonna scope or not, but he he does pretty well. Uh, Terry Terry's a well-rounded rifleman. Um, he's a good support player, I guess. And then Q and Premium Lee are probably gonna be their more aggressive players. Uh, Premium Lee usually MK3s, and then Q is a uh, Good para player, and then I actually haven't ever seen face in tournaments, or at least this face I haven't seen him. I don't recall seeing him at least, but I guess uh, we'll see what he can do this this game against CC elites. And then uh, you actually got to see CC elites play actually played against them with 45, which was unfortunate. Um, Yunana, CC Envy, CC Fate. CC Mountain Dew and CC Green, I, the names are too similar. I think I remember playing against CC Envy, CC Fate, Yunana, and then um, CC Green. I don't think Mountain Dew was there. But all of them seem pretty capable at, at Rifle. Uh, they were definitely a good challenge. They ended up beating us. But I, mean, I guess it was 4v5. But still, yeah, they're, they're, they're capable. I think actually they're probably the favorite in this match. What did you what do you think about uh CC Elite Scope Janon and uh UCG Scope Mofo not being in either roster here? Cuz uh, I think that's like their main scopes for each of them. Yeah, I don't know. It's in it's strange strange to see that they wouldn't try and run with the scope. Maybe one of these guys will pick it up. One of these CC Elite player, players might pick it up. Pick a scope. I think Yunana actually picked up scope for a couple rounds when he was playing against uh, the team I was playing for. Mm, yeah, he might actually scope. Um, but I think they're actually fairly s similar on skill level. That Yunana and then Jonan, Jonan, whatever, Jonan guy couldn't really handle Kroon, it seemed. Kroon was too much for them. But I mean, CKZ actually might have a pretty good battle with Yunana at scope, who knows. Because I, yeah, I don't think CKZ is on Kroon's level, rather is Yunana, so I mean they might be at a similar skill level, and it might actually be pretty, pretty good matchup. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how UCG plays the defense, and then if CC Elites needs to do anything special to break through that defense in order to win rounds on offense. 
Uh, and it will be interesting to see if Cecilia is able to take that generator away from UCG. Alright, oh yeah, we're going to be playing Black Sand, I see. And which is, uh, that's a huge priority for this map, that uh, green gin room on the two side of this map. Whoever controls that has a pretty good chance of taking the round, because it's pretty much an access point to Site 2. And uh, UCG game is going to be on defense, and CC Elites is going to be on offense. In uh, previous games, CC Elites has enjoyed going through mid towards one. Uh, and that's like their like go-to strat on EU, is just to camp that mid, get a pick, and then take one really quick. So we should need to look out for that. All of CC Elites, they get to spawn for one, so they all rush in towards warehouse. CC... All yeah, it looks like they're gonna be going in. They're gonna be going in hard too. Four players all set up for that one push. They're gonna be running into UCG, CKZ, Kiyu, and Yunan actually gets a kill on a face on the rotate. Kiyu gets a kill on CC Green, and then CC Mountain Dew gets a trade onto uh, CKZ. But then Mountain Dew gets dropped by Kiyu. That's a 1v3. One, actually, that's a 2v2 situation, excuse me. Premium Lee and Terry up for the defense. You know, gets a kill on Terry, not the 1v2 situation for premium. Premiumly, now it's going to be possible round win for CC elites. Premiumly is actually running with a, a Famas, so I mean, he could. Eh, he just got dropped to 1 HP though, so <laughs> his chances just instantly. And then he gets shot up from behind, and then he gets shot in the foot. Operation success. Hinata actually did work that round, going 3-0 for his team. That's gonna net them the first round win for CC leads on the EU. Yeah, I saw him pick off that, that first rotator there, and then he and then he pushed up through mid and then got a kill as well onto Terry, so that was a great play by him. CC leads is gonna be playing a bit spread out, so is the UCG team. Actually, they're gonna be kind of be playing heavy mid right now. They got two players in office, and then one player sitting in spawn, and then one player at each site. It's an interesting strat. Yunan is gonna be working up through mid on his own. Q runs into CCNV and gets a headshot onto him. There's gonna be a heavy two-sided push though by CC elites. Uh, Kiyu gets a kill on Yunana over at 1, and then uh, CC Green and CC Fate pick up a couple kills at 2, and it's going to be 3v3 situation, and they're going to get the bomb down too, at site 2. So uh, UC UCG has to rotate here, and uh, probably going to be looking at a tough situation, as uh, CC Elites is all set up in site 2. They got all the corners locked. They also smoked up that front entrance too, which is a huge delay. Great pick oh. by CKZ. Oh. Doesn't matter, I guess, for CKZ because a headshot through the smoke there. And then UCG Terry gets a kill of his own, and then CKZ gets a kill on a CC Fate. And that's a, that was a great retake by the UCG team there. And that picks up their first round. And now it's tied at one. CC Leeds is going to be playing a bit spread again. They got two players over at one, one mid, one at freezer room. CC Green is going to be trading a few bullets with Terry there. But then he's going to back off. Premium Lee is playing really aggressive. And then he gets dropped by. Oh, well. What a nice headshot. Clutch headshot too at sitting on one HP. They're gonna be pushing into office right now. CC Elite's gonna be pushing into office. And Kiyu is gonna be killing CC Fate over at one yet again. CC Envy gets a kill onto Face. And then another kill onto Terry. And then Kiyu comes up and uh, flanks Envy there. Mountain Dew gets a kill onto Kiyu. UC UCG CKZ is the only one up for his team now. It's a 1v2 situation. CC Green and CC Mountain Dew. Only players up for CC leads. CKZ lands a 
few bullets on a Mountain Dew and there's one player up and he gets that kill too. Great play. That, that was a great play. Um, this, that was a bit bit of a wacky round. Everything, all, all this action was going down all over the place. There was like action going to office and over at one and it was kind of a, a split offense for the CC Elite team which was... It looked like a good plan but it actually ended up didn't, not working out for them because they couldn't pull off that 2v1 situation. CC Envy gets a kill on CKZ with a headshot there. And now CC Elites is going to be pushing out. Q gets a kill on 2 CC Envy. Face gets a kill on CC Elite. And now it's a 2v3? Yeah, 2v3 situation for this CC Elites team. They're going to be sitting in gen. They've got that gen control. And they really don't need to worry about a flank. I don't think uh, UCG is aggressive enough for flanks. Did the bomb reset or did they leave it in spawn? I'm not, I'm not sure here. May have reset. It's possible that it reset. Maybe a guy was running across bridge and died. And then it fell through the ground or something. UCG Caillou uh, rotated all the way over to one. Um, actually, all of them are rotating over to one and favoring that. Face, yeah, they're making all this noise too. Face should be able to hear them and call it out, like, now. And yeah, it looks like it's been called out. Face is gonna take down Mount Dune. The... Charge set. And it didn't matter. Yeah, Face was wise to the rotation there and got both of them. And, uh, bomb defuse? Yeah. So, Face goes pretty big for his team there, pulling up a third straight round, and um, UCG is actually surprising me here. Did not expect this. Kind of thought CC Leeds would have had more of a. I guess you could say advantage going into this. Yeah, I thought CC Leeds was gonna like put up more of a fight, but they're kind of just getting clutched on and making little mistakes that are in and like CKZ pe uh, peaks and kills. Mountain Dew gets a turn kill though on premium. Oh, Mountain Dew gets another kill on the CKZ. That was actually. It looked like it could have been good for UCG because they had opened up with the first frag there. But uh, Mountain Dew actually answered back with a couple of kills of his own in it. And uh, then CC Fate gets a, kill, a trade kill onto Terry. And then it brings it to a. 3v2 situation, but then uh, Face is there yet again on another headshot kill onto a CC Elite player, and now it is 2v2. Charge set. And then Mountain Dew actually eats a nade from Q, and his helmet's off, so I mean, it's looking pretty grim yet again for CC Elite. It's probably going to lose this round. Yeah. Face gets a kill onto. Mountain Dew and then Kiyu gets a kill of his own on a fate and then that'll be a round another round win for UCG Charge uh, Kiyu is going pretty large for his team sitting at 11 frags and CKZ as well both of them sitting at above 10 frags yeah it's very or 10 score but they are pretty much dominating uh, CC elites on defense here yeah Yunana gets a kill onto face though to open up this round, it might actually give them a bit of a for their comeback. Yep, yeah, get a bit of a push for a few rounds in their favor. Who knows? Um, there's only one player in one. They're going to be pushing into site one, so they they got a bit of a chance here. Except UCGQ lands an eight on a Mountain Dew, and then CC Green comes up from the flank and gets CKZ. CC Green up with the kill. Yeah, that was a great defensive play. Uh, he got the trade kill and then and then won onto um, a couple of CC Elite players there. Now it's a 2v2 situation. Q uh, shoots a few bullets into you, Nana. You, Nana, you, Nana. Premium, premiumly there is on the rotate to get a kill onto CC Green. Now it's a 1v2 situation for CC Elite, so yeah. Um, a <laughs> couple end up. Of unfortunate mistakes yet again is putting CC elites in a bit of a hole. 
And it doesn't look like UCG is gonna pick the scope. They're gonna play it really safe. Friendly troops eliminated. <laughs> Operation failure. Return to main base. <laughs> he just look at Paiu's score. Yeah, he's going pretty massive now. That's that's carry status, fifteen and two. Well, this CC Elites team has yet to pass six score. Every single one of them are sitting around the same score, which is not very good. They're all getting equally shut down. Yeah, this is, this is a bit of a blowout. And they need to pick up a couple rounds as well in order to put them kind of in a favor favorable situation going into the next half. This is just ridiculous. CC Green opens up with a kill on Terry. Envy opens up with a kill of his own on the premium lead. Then Face is there on a side defense. Face on another defense. CC Green gets the trade though. CKZ gets a kill on CC Green and now it's a 1v... Uh, 1v1 situation. CKZ against CC Fate. And uh, CKZ has the health advantage. They both have paras though, so... Either of them, if they just land a bullet or two, it's gonna be yeah. They just need one bullet, land that bullet, and that is a good half, a huge roll, massive roll by this UCG team. Was not expecting that kind of roll. Um, I suppose Black Sun is a bit more of a defensive map, but. Still, that was, that was dominant 6 1 stompage by uh, Q and CKZ both dropping 13 and up scores. I think CC Leeds needs to step it up. Yeah, I don't know, even though it's a defensive-sided map, it's not so defensive-sided that you should only be able to win one round, like, you should be able to, like, get three or four rounds, even though you're on offense. Right. Maybe CC Leeds ha will have a stronger defense, uh, maybe they're gonna be able to hold stuff, like, hold sights and not make as many mistakes when they're not having to think about pushing. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that was just a fluke, because um, they did have great situations that they could have pulled off round wins, but they just faltered. Maybe it was just a bit of a... Oh, there's Gianna. Yeah, maybe it was just jitter play. They're just really... The uh, four or five times that they actually got control of a site, they killed two people, and it was a 3v5, but then they misplayed the sites and got clutched when they were like up two men. Like I don't understand really what was going on. Yeah, it's unfortunate. And uh, CC Elites actually sw swaps a player out. Mountain Dew is now benched, and Gianan is in for the scope. Or in as the scope. Uh, Janan was like uh, a really good carry, um, was like a really core part of their team, so definitely could have been why they were getting stomped so hard. Uh, <laughs> maybe he's not scoping now. I don't know. Is he gonna point there? Is he uh, there? I'm pretty sure he's gonna scope. I think he's just fixing his uh stuff. The one thing that's curious is that if UCG doesn't run a scope and they're very aggressive on offense, I could really work in towards their favor. Um, because that's that's actually a big debate. Is like, should you have five rifles or four rifles and a scope on offense on Black Sun? Because the map is pretty weird for scoping. Yeah, there's only certain peak angles on that map, on this map for sure. And if you want a better peak, you kind of put, you kind of put yourself out in the open there for a free kill if somebody peek you. So it's definitely tough.
we're getting lectured on the uh, proper pronunciation of certain short forms and names. I won't remember them. I'm just gonna call. I'm just gonna call them all bad. Is that good? Bad player one over here on the kill, entering into sight. Gets the bomb down. Pubstar casual scope going big. <laughs> I think that works. Peasant Xbox user here is dying. <laughs> So we are going to hopefully head into the second half of the first map, which is Black Scent, um, hopefully very soon, so we uh, can get the winner bracket finals out of the way. We'll uh, set up the top three for tomorrow, the top two for tomorrow. Who do you think the top three are going to be? Who do you think is that one team that's not going to go very far? Um, definitely deuces. <laughs> definitely deuces. That's mean. <laughs> it's, it's no possibility. Where's your passion, Sedlock? Um, CC Elites was far better than them, it seemed. And ECG is looking, <laughs> it's looking, it's looking way better than CC Elites right now. So... Just a, just logicking, you know. Deuce is probably gonna get creamed by both of these guys. We are up to uh, 33 viewers. If we get to 50, we'll give away three stream codes in a row. What? What? Stream codes! Oh my god! Whoa. Um. ECG is gonna be setting up. Setting up for a two push possibly. They've got two players in Jen and then one player rotating right now to Jen as well. Uh, CC Elites has pretty much a two stack. They've got three players at two. UCG Caillou is going to be getting a first frag onto CC Fate over in mid. And then um, Premium Lee is going to be rotating over to two possibly with the rest of his team. Yeah, there's going to be, there's definitely going to be a, a two push pretty soon here. If they can, uh, if they just grow some balls and Push out of sight there, or push out of gen there. Dead. <laughs> I mean, they got a bit of a health advantage right now, and they've got definitely a player advantage. And they, yeah, definitely a huge health advantage right now. CC Green sitting at 1 HP, and they got two players to kill there. Very dicey just, situation there. there there's. That was a pretty crazy, crazy play. You don't understand what, the, what they're doing. Well, ECG is going to try. Or... Able to get headshots, no kills with that M4. <laughs> Everybody's sitting out with one HP. If he can land these shots, he gets one there. Ah, oh, unable to get that accuracy. Come on, man. That was such a winnable situation. Yeah, they're all like below 10 HP. That's kind of crazy. Anyways, we're gonna have... Uh, that was the first round for UCG. Uh, all they need now is one more. Yeah. The CKZ is a uh, tricks. The grenade from Nana. We're gonna see Peter, aka Face, doing his typical bell grenade on Mountain Dew, but it's probably not. Perfect. All of these pretty much just spread out right now. They're looking for a pick, um, or they're gonna all go aggressive at like 130 or something. Actually, CKZ is sneaking his way up through uh, spawn here, sort of. And it's not gonna work out for him. He's gonna get pinched there by CC Green and Yunana, and now Kyo is actually gonna or Kyu is going to 
rotate around and get a kill on Yunana. Premiumly opens up with a kill of Fragnade onto CC Mountain Dew. Now it's a 4v2 situation because Terry just got another kill on, or a kill for his team onto CC Fate. Then CC uh, Envy opens up with a defensive frag onto Premiumly. Now it's a 2v2 situation. Terry's gonna run into CC Envy and CC Envy gets a kill there. And now it's a 1v2 situation for Caillou. And it looks like face TC. Operation success. Return to main base. And they're gonna call dead down, yeah. Yes. Erg, never mind. Never mind. No dead round. CC leads could have left the gate. Okay. Dead round trick, I guess. They're doing the dead round strat. <laughs> Very tactile. Tactical. Yeah. Green take down Kai uh, Kuryoku. They're having a firefight, but Trix is gonna be able to take him out. They're gonna engage with Fate through the smoke, gonna miss some shots. Terra is able to uh, take down Fate. 1v2 planted. So much action. Maladu's gonna peek this front entrance, gonna get shot up by a premium. VCG are yeah, looking at Mount D right now. He's got a tough situation there. Uh, and he gets dropped, and that's a good map. Good game for Caillou's team, UCG Gaming. Or UC Gaming, excuse me. UCG Gaming, that would be. You know, gaming, I gaming. Gaming, gaming. <laughs> yeah. Good play there from uh, just UCG just to stomp out CC Elites in that first map. Yeah, they surprised me for sure. Um, they actually made... look really strong. Yeah. Uh, Q, Caillou, excuse me. <laughs> um, they're. Yeah, Caillou's looking good for his team at that pair and premiumly as well. I mean,. CKZ definitely as well. Definitely all of their players are looking strong at the rifle right now. Even though they don't have a scope, it's interesting. Um, I, I definitely think they're going to have to pick up a scope or something to uh, play against artifacts because uh, you, you can't just you can't just work around um, Volt Tackle. He'll find you and he'll destroy you pretty much. There's only a few players that can outplay him. Um, I guess they're going to be waiting on Face to come back. It's so a good thing I'm uh, the number one scope in this game, and I'm able to outscope full tackle every single time. <laughs> it's, and it's a good thing that you're not playing? Essentially. Because you would just, you would just demolish everybody? I don't play. I breed competition for myself. <laughs> um, I'm going to be back in like two seconds. i got to get a four. Toodles. So anyways, it, the second map is going to be dual site. Uh, UCG is going to be on defense because CC Leeds has decided to pick offense. Um, there's real no favorite side on dual site. It really comes up to which teams have the better shot, which teams have the better strats, and how they juggle those around and work those together. So uh, basically, it's all team play here. Going to be exciting to see if CC Leeds is able to uh, improve their performance coming off of that first map. Um, they definitely need to. They need to force a second map in order to win. Uh, I mean, a third map in order to win and uh, go into the winner's bracket. But uh, UCG looks really strong. I mean, CKZ and uh, Kuryoku, like, they were carrying hard last map. Uh, I think 15 to 3 or 4 or even 2 for Kuryoku. Um, that was just insane. And all of CC Leeds were going negative. So that was just really hard to watch that first half. We're gonna be waiting on one more player from NR uh, from UCG to join in, um, and then hopefully we can start. Remember, if you haven't already, make sure you follow uh, twitch.tv slash cgomedia. Just click that button, follow us, help us get to 150 followers so uh, we can keep producing content like this and provide competition. After this match we'll be giving away a stream code and then we'll go into the winner bracket finals which we hopefully can go into like uh, straight away uh, with very little delay.
mofos here. And uh, make sure you type in the chat uh, so that the giveaway uh, recognizes that you're an active user. Because um, if not, you won't be included in the drawing. So make sure you keep typing in that chat. Talk to the community. Get involved. Interact. Save AVA. Save it. You can do it. Um, I guess face dropped, and uh, Mofo is now going to be playing with the UCG. I have some uh, insider knowledge here about Mofo and UCG. There was some uh, discrepancy between the two parties there, and it's interesting to see Mofo coming into sub in here. Interesting that he decided to uh, start playing. I wonder if CKZ is going to scope or if Mofo is going to scope. Are uh, or not, I guess face is back. Indeed. Every time we say Caillou, I, I remember the theme song, Caillou, from that, uh, like, children's show. <laughs> no! Yep, that's no. me! No! <laughs> Don't bring it back. Don't do it. Okay, CC Elites. Um, just kidding. Fail 2 is 9. Anyway, CC Leeds is going to be on offense for this dual site map. UCG is going to be on defense. Here we go. I think uh, on dual site, scopes have a lot, like a larger role to play than they do on, say, Black Scent. So, uh, CKZ and. They have a much more carry potential um, and a more ability to shut down other players. Uh, CC, Truth. CC Elites is going to push up mid. Yeah, pre but Premium is able to say no to Kareem. But unable to get the second kill on Fate, that's going to even out 4v4. Envy is on top of 1. Terry knows where he is. And it's just odd. Referencing <clears throat> different games. What? We've gone to the next level, stud. We have ascended. Nana's gonna get the kill on CKZ. CKZ. Quick switch. Uh, two v three. Oh, 3v3. Terrible. Face is still alive. I, I, I don't know how to count either, it's okay. Counting's hard. I had to drop yeah. out of kindergarten. <laughs> 2v2 all even up now, as they trade kills. They're fighting for that control of one site so that they can plant the bomb. T-Sleets. Ah, T-Sleets gonna make mistakes if they're like, uh, Kuryoko are gonna get the yeah, Kaio caught him off guard there and came through the smoke like a champion and just shot, uh, shot the guy down. And then Terry was there for the support onto that kill with the scope. Or kill on the scope. Basically better positioning from UCG than from CC Leeds. Yeah, and that first round is going to go in favor of UCG and hopefully it doesn't <laughs> go that way for the rest of this map. But Green is. He's gonna back off wisely. Face is gonna shut down Nana on the top of one. Charge set. Bomb is actually gonna go down as they have control of one. But Dig is gonna come down from UCG. Terry's gonna be able to take down Envy. Janana. Top 
tons of kills coming down from ECG. Yeah, that wasn't looking very good for CC Elite from the beginning. It honestly looked like CC Elite was gonna take the win here, but all of a sudden UCG just got all the and I don't know if it was bad positioning or better shots, but it was just impressive. I think it was more so bad positioning. For some reason, for some reason they put the scope outside of uh, outside of sight there on the tank, and he couldn't really help much on that bomb. CC Envy's gonna open up with kill on premiumly. CKZ's gonna get a trade kill on a GN in, in mid. That's a 4v4 situation. CZ fake it's a sick head drawn to CKZ there. Denies him of the mid hold. Now it's 4v3 in favor of CC Elites. CC Elites is going to be setting up for a two push more more than likely. They've got three players over at two right now. They're going to be pushing him into sight with CC Green at point man. He's going to push all the way to tunnel. And he's going to run into face there. Yunana's going to get the bomb down. Now it's a 2v4 situation in favor of CC Elites. Q is going to be on site. Terry's going to get picked off on the rotate. And now it's one player up for UCG. Enemy troops eliminated. Then he gets dropped by Operation CC Fate, and that's the first round win for CC Elites. CC Elites doing another split offense. Two players mid, two players two, one player one. Caillou ran into a couple of CC Elite players there, and he's sitting at 1 HP now. It's kind of a 4v5 situation. Caillou is so lit. Fire in the hole. Three of the CC Elite players are going to be pushing up towards 1 right now. They've got a couple of bullets shot into face there and then CC Fate actually gets a kill onto CKZ and now they're gonna be pushing heavy at, at one. They're gonna try and take over top one. Terry's gonna be nading the opposite side. CC Fate see, knows that he's there though. Yunana gets a nice headshot onto Terry and now it's a 5v2 situation for CC Elites. They don't know where premium Lee is so he might actually get a ninja if no that's unfortunate. They know where he is now, he's inside. He's, they're gonna get the call that he's inside. Q gets a kill on the flank there onto Unanana, but then, or Unanana, excuse me, then CCK gets the trade onto a premium lead, or kill insight on a premium lead. And CC Green is there to clean it up for the CC Elites. And now it is 2 all. That was the first convincing round that I think CC Elites has won this entire series. They were actually up 5 to like 2 at one point. Which they haven't done in a while. Anyways, we're gonna have Premium taking shots over at uh, on Green here, but Premium's just gonna back off and not contest it at all. We do have Envy on Tank, but he should run into Terry, unless he as well backs off. So CC is just all over the maps right now. Uh, showers mid. Janan takes down a uh, CKZ. Actually, CKZ wasn't scoping my bad. It looks like we have a uh, two fake, and that's why uh, CC Leeds is going to push towards one now. They did get control of the inside of the site, but they're going to have to hold it down as CCG rotates. Nana is able to take down Terry. On top right now, CC Envy and Face actually just re walked right be <laughs> walked right by each other, pretty much in in hilarious fashion. Uh, Face is gonna be wise to it there. He actually found out that there's a player up there, and he kills CC Envy. CC Green gets a kill into Premium Leap, and then CC Green gets a nice headshot onto Plug or Face. I want to call his name. I want to call him Plug so hard. His name's Peter though. Okay, Peter. Gets dropped there, and that's another round win in favor of CC Elite. Bro, 
premiumly opens up with the first drag on the CC fate, and then CK is, is there to get a kill on the CC green. And that's a 3v5 situation in favor of UCG. Huge advantage here. Envy is going to be pushing the top. He's probably going to run into Terry, but there's also a face inside of one who might push out and flank them. Envy is able to get the pick on Terry. They have control of top one. They able to get this kill on Kuryoku. Which they do, Nana. Nice headshot. Problem for CC Elites is that uh, Face is still inside of sight. He might be able to hold it down, but he's unable to do that as Envy gets the kill on Face. 2v3 situation. Charge set. <laughs> Premium that was there on the flank, but he was unable to get any kills for his team there. And Siki is, is going to be the only one up for his team. He's going to peek at a kill on uh, Yunana. Now he's going to be playing pretty aggressive. He's going to look for the kill on his CC Envy. Nope. He gets headshot by CC Envy, and that's another round win in favor of CC Elites. So yeah, CC Elites is actually starting to pull out rounds, kind of what I expected last map, but I guess they just were too jittery or something. Uh, anyway, they have a lot of good strats and like teamwork right now. It's pretty surprising compared to how they performed on Black Sun. Another split offense by the CC Elites team. Um, they got two players at two, and then they had three, two pl three players at one. Uh, they're gonna be changing that up a bit, and they're gonna stack two pretty soon. Premium actually getting a nice uh, camping spot on Envy there to take him out. It's gonna force CC Elite's hand at uh, pushing a site. Probably gonna be two here as they uh, come in. They're gonna run into Kiryoku though, who gets quickly taken out. Yeah, it didn't matter. I guess they just. Walked up on him and destroyed him. They get bombed down, and now uh, UCG is going to be rotating for that that bomb defusal. CC Fate gets dropped there. Premium League gets a kill onto CC Green, but then Gianna answers with a kill onto Face. Yunana gets a kill of his own onto Terry, but then CKZ gets a trade onto Yunana, and then gets a second kill onto Gianna. Not to be a round win for UCG. That was a nice retake by that. UCG team there, it was a 4v4 situation, 4v4 situation, <laughs> and they, I guess they just had better positioning there, and they took sight, if you got the round one. Yeah, that take back was all thanks to CKZ, he was pressuring as a scope, but he also managed to get uh, two kills, so that was pretty huge. CC Leeds is going to be playing heavy mid, I have four players in mid right now, and... One player on bridge, one player top one. I wonder if they're going to be pushing one or some. I don't. I'm not exactly. Can't really tell what they're it's planning on doing. Yeah, <laughs> CC Green opens up with the kill into Caillou. It's now five v four, and <laughs> I can't really tell what they're trying to attempt. To I mean, they're just floating around, I guess. Oh. Uh, they may attempt to take over. Yeah, they're gonna. Looks like they're gonna go to one now. They've got three players on top one. They're gonna take control of top, and then they're gonna probably drop down and take sight. Running into Terry here. Terry's gonna get dropped by two of the uh, CC Elite players. CC Green is there on the uh, flank kill onto face, and now it's a 4v2 situation. Actually, 5v2 situation for this uh, UCG team. CKZ gets a kill on the Gian in to bring it back to a 4v2 though. But uh, this is looking like CC Elite's round because they've got the health advantage and the bomb down as well. Yunana gets the kill on the premium lead and then CC Fate cleans it up with the kill on the CKZ and that is another round win in favor of CC Elite's. It is now 5-3 and it's looking pretty good for CC Elite's to win this half of the map. Which would be very surprising and not what we expected after the, seeing what Blackton occurred. Yeah, after 
they're a complete distraction on black scent. That was that was hideous. Um UCG wouldn't be out of this though. I mean they got three rounds at the moment. That's a pretty good uh that's some good that's some good ground to cover. If they get another round, that'd actually be really good for them. It's all about that cushioning. Mm -hmm. Trades all over the map. CC Elites gets control of one. And you see, she kind of rotates over and they get picked off. Uh oh. I <laughs> saw that one coming. Yunana didn't. Didn't even think to check mid at all. He just run, ran straight through mid and then got uh, killed from behind by CKZ. Faces there to kill CCNV, and that's a 1v2 situation for Gion. And with bomb down by CKZ, Face is going to rotate over to CKZ as well, and they're going to have that bomb all to themselves. Looking really good for UCG right now. It's a very quick headshot there from CKZ to end the round. It's now 5 to 4. Leading is CC Leeds. Yeah, and they don't have too much of a cushion now. I mean, if they win, it's good, but the score is going to be 6 4. And then, and that'll be easy for UCG to come back from. Premium may actually be able to take down Janan, that's CC lead. Terry getting a nice kill on Nana. Putting it down to a 1v3. No amount of time here if he wants to win the uh, round 6 to 4. Able to get one on Caillou. I don't think he knows where anyone else is though. He might think there's someone at uh, Double D. Bomb is down inside of sight though. Really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Terry or Green was sitting at pretty good HP. I think it was more than half his HP still, but then Terry got a few bullets under him and brought him down to 1 HP. Then he gets dropped here by CC Green, so great, great job by Terry and Premium Lee. Terry lit him up and then Premium Lee cleaned him up there. Finally get a very, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Not so much of dominant play by either team. It's actually really close. 5-5, five, five, that's really good. Oh, <laughs> two players down by the UCG team within the first 15 seconds. And uh, it's looking good for... Yeah. It's looking good for CC Elites to take this map. Or, no, map, uh, half. CC Envy gets a kill into CKZ, and that's a 5v2 situation for UCG. This is looking like a good half for CC Elites. If they can get the bomb down. They're taking their time. Got to clear out the site. Yeah, clear, clear the site of nobody. Absolutely. Premium is gonna get a lit up as he's trying to cross the bridge. He gets dropped by uh, CC Envy there, and then CC Fate cleans up with the kill onto Face, and now it is six five. First half goes to CC Elites.
It looks like we might be, start, might be starting the second half pretty quickly. What? That's, that's, I think that's, that's a record. Yeah. Anyway, that was good to display by CC Elites there. Um, bringing it back after getting destroyed on Black Scent. They actually won that half and now they're sitting in a pretty good position to actually win this map. They took that first half. I mean, it's still close though. 6-5, that's, that's really close. That's the total score at the moment. So, I mean, if it goes back and forth, it might end up being a really good game. CC Green opens up with the first kill in a premium lead. Now it's a 5v4 advantage for CC Elites. And we get to kill. Yeah. Is that two kills now? No. Okay. Just one. Their name's too similar. CC. Uh. They're all super high ranks. This is this is difficult. Anyway, it's 5v3, advantage for CC leads, UCG, I'm not, they're not really doing much right now, I guess they're shift walking towards the, looking for some picks, but this is probably not going to be a very successful attempt, they're getting really spread out right now, and they're going to get picked off one by one most likely. There goes one. Two more up for the CG team. Terry's gonna see Yunana on top. CKZ is gonna come around and probably try and get the kill on Yunana. But the call's already out. Terry gets the kill on his CC Envy. Yunana gets the kill on to CKZ. There goes another. And then Yunana gets the second kill on Terry. So yeah, one by one they just got picked off. Playing two, two lone wolf status. So the first round goes in favor of CC Elites. That's a good sign for them. <laughs> CC Green's gonna go super aggressive down, down the hatch. Kill. Yeah. Gianna gets a kill in mid on two premium lane now. And then CC Fade drops down as well. Or actually, no, he's in tight too. He gets a kill on Terry. And then Kiyu gets the trade kill on a CC Fade with a headshot. What and then CC hap What is happening to CC here? Yeah, they just got demolished there. Oh my goodness. They're looking like CC Elites on Black Scent. Uh, CC Elites may have not have been uh, warmed up or something. That could have been definitely the cause. Uh, thinking that's for sure the, the cause now. CKZ opens up with a kill on. Uh, into the Gianan, but then CC Fate answers back with a kill onto Face. And Terry's there for another trade onto CC Fate. Yunana a trade kill on the Premium League. It's going back and forth right now. Bomb gets down though, and then CKZ is there to get a kill onto Yunana. CC Green back and forth, back and forth. CC Green onto Q, and then, or Kayu, excuse me, CKZ into NV, and now one player up, and Terry gets the kill onto CC Green. That was, uh, that was a lot of trades. It's like one after the other. CC player. UCG player, CC player, UCG player, CC player. It's crazy. Anyway, uh, UCG actually ended up getting that round, and it's now 1-2 in favor of uh, CC Elites. UCG is going to be favoring that one, seeing as that actually worked for them. <laughs> Kayo gets a one-tap on Yunana on top, top one. Now it's a 4v5 advantage, but then CC Fate is there on is there for a double kill, and then CC Green is there for that third kill on this uh, UCG. That was a great play by those players. Now it is a 2v4, 2v3 situation now after Gianni gets picked by Premium Lee. And now it's a 1v3 situation for Premium Lee. Premium Lee. This is probably going to be a CC Elite's round win. Premium Lee sitting at 1 HP. Really lit. Really, really lit. Um. I guess they're not gonna get bombed out or something. I don't. <laughs> what are they even doing? They know where he's at. They're on defense, sir. Oh, uh, okay. I got confused because they got this setup. They got this really weird setup. Like they're like they're taking sight. <laughs> they got one player top one and then one player on the on those barrels over there. Let's 
whatever crazy works. Yeah. Well, if Premium lays on offense, he's gotta do something. Can't <laughs> do much said... with one HP. <laughs> <laughs> You also can't let the time expire. Of course you will. What, what does that even mean? Anyway, uh, he dies. He had no chance, pretty much. He had he had minuscule chance there of winning the round. Sitting so at 1 HP. Anyway, CC Leeds takes that round. Now it's 3-1. Uh, CC Leeds is looking good to take this map if they can just continue this momentum. ECG is kind of spread out a bit. They've got more players at two, however, so they might set up to take over two pretty soon. Premium Lee is going to possibly run into CC Green. Yep, CC Green is there. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> CC Green failing so hard. And uh, Premium Lee gets him after he reloads, finishes reloading, and then gets to go home. So now it's three or five v four advantage. United gets a nice couple of headshots on a Q there. Now it's a four v four situation. Um, since weird CC elites actually rotated all the way out, out of sight too. There's gonna be nobody in sight, and they got a free a free sight too, basically. Or CC Gianin is there, but he just gets smoked smoked out, and they're gonna get bombed down here too. CKZ there, not able to get the rotational kill onto Envy, and then Yunana gets a kill on a premium lead, and then Gianin's there for killing a Terry, and that's a 1v4 situation, not looking good at all for FaZe. FaZe gets one kill, but then he gets traded uh, by CC Envy, and that's another round win for CC leads. It's going to be 4-1 right now, and they're going to be... Wow. Yeah. Lopsided at the moment. <laughs> And this is a really offensive side of map. I guess um, UCG gaming or UCG <laughs> UCG. Oh my gosh. Uh, they're they're not gelling. They're not. Their chemistry isn't too good right now. Yeah, it kind of shows as well. And how they play sites and how they take them. But uh, CKZ takes down Janon. I think that's a true uh, scope tree right there. ECG just waiting out uh, Cecilia's I'm getting a kill on Kirby in the face of getting her turn killing green. Kuri is able to kill Envy at 4 hood. CC Fate's gonna be wise there, rotate to two. He has a scope. He's their top frag. Oh, he gets dinked though by a para. Somehow survives it. And now he's sitting at the lowest possible HP you can be. He's gonna get flanked by the Terry, and that's gonna be round one for UCG. It's now 4 to 2 in favor of CC leads. Or, yeah, in favor of CC leads. So. <laughs> Premium Lee tries some wacky jump attack, but he jumps pretty much into CCMV and CCMV drops him there. Now it's a 4v2 situation for uh, CC Leeds, and they're probably going to take this round. Probably, most likely, will end up taking this round. Oh, wait, what? 4v2. It's 4v3, excuse me. 
did not see that last player. That face guy is pretty good at hiding himself. <laughs> yeah. Because he's able to kill Janan, that picks up the scope. Evens up the uh, player count 3-3. Three, three. See, because he's going to get the great kill on uh, Envy as he comes out to take. You're not a last man alive, 1-2. See, because he just takes more easy peasy. Return to main base. Your efforts are commended. So that was surprising. <laughs> UCG actually managed to pull out that round. Uh, they bring him back four to three right now, and it's getting really close. CKZ gets a kill onto CCNB. Opens up the round for the kill. Now it's a five v four uh, advantage for CC or no UCG. Excuse me. CC Green gets another uh, kill of his own on CKZ, and then Gianna gets a kill onto Terry. Now it's a four v three situation. Similar to last round, hopefully uh, CC Leeds can actually pull this out though. Uh, nope, never mind. Premium League gets a kill onto CC Green. Now it's a 3v3 situation. Not looking too good for CC Leeds. Similar situation happened last round and CC Leeds couldn't pull it off. However, they're set up for two right now. There's two players at two ready to defend site two. CC gets a sick headshot, and then cleans up Kyu the Kyu, excuse me, and then Yunana is there for the cleanup as well under premium lead. So that was a great defensive stand by these two players, CC Fate and Yunana. And uh, now they're actually in really good position. They put up as many rounds as UCG did, and so all UCG can do now is tie. So they're at least going to tie this map, which is. Which is pretty good, I'd say. I'd say it's pretty good. And they only need one round to win, so it's really good. Okay. CC Fate's gonna, or CC Envy, excuse me, is gonna open up with the first kill on a premium lead. That's not looking too good for UCG. Usually, first frag goes uh, to the winning team. Uh, CC Green goes to, gets a kill on the key, Caillou. Ah, man, his name. Like, why can't he change his name? Anyway. It's a 5v3 situation for CC Elites. And Yunana's gonna run into two players. CKC gets dropped by Yunana, and then... And then you, what? Terry was there for the trade kill, but he, like, ran away or something. Anyway, Face gets a kill onto Gionin, and then Terry gets a kill on a CC Fate. It's now a 3v2 situation for UCG. Both of the bottom cracks still up for... UCG, but then they're both going to get dropped by uh, CC Green and Yunana. And that's a good game. It's now tied at one map apiece. Charge defuse. Operation success. Return to main base. So yeah, that's a bit more of uh, the CC elite I expected to see. Yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting from week two, where they completely outplayed all of their opponents. I know, like, even though they were probably easier opponents, they still did uh, really well. So for them not to do, like, the same level of play that they were performing, it was kind of disappointing for a while. It does look like the third map will be Hammerville.
so we have reached our final, uh, we've actually reached the tiebreaker map for the first time in our two matches we've had so far. Actually, I don't even think we had any in week two, so that's pretty interesting. I see we've uh, hit 40 uh, viewers. Uh, if we can somehow manage to get to 50, we'll do a we'll give away uh, two or three stream codes on top of uh, the stream code we're already going to give away for this match. As well, if anyone is able to clutch 1v3, we also give a stream code away for that. Make sure you keep on liking that CGO Facebook page so uh, we can uh, keep doing stuff like this. So this turned out to be a fairly evenly matched uh, game here, I guess. Game match 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 match. Yes. Um This uh map here is defensive sided and UCG is gonna be starting on the defensive side of things. So my prediction I'd say it's most likely gonna go in favor of UCG. But I think CC leads can pop probably pull out a few rounds. And uh, we're looking at like 6-3, 6-4, maybe even 6-5. But uh, yeah, CC Elites and UCG were definitely going back and forth, and they actually have a map of B, so it's a really evenly matched game here. Looks like almost everyone is ready, and we're very close to starting this uh, next map. Waiting on fate to start uh, to ready. Well, they've all readied up. Time to start. Second half, uh, third map begins. UCG is gonna be running no scopes at the moment. Don't know if it's gonna change. Don't let that but... trickery fool you. <laughs> yeah, they're running no scopes. What? Lens of truth on you, didn't you? Oh yeah. And TC Lee is very far back. <laughs> wow, they're playing incredibly passive at one. Oh, they're gonna run it at CKZ there though, and he gets a nice headshot on the CC Fate. He's gonna be sniped though by Gianan, and now it's a 4v4 situation. Players rotating to, to one right now. Terry's gonna get in sight with face and then premium is gonna be there on the back door, so if they decide to take over one it's not gonna be a favorable situation. It's funny how fast they rotated and uh CC leads haven't even pushed onto bridge yet. Yeah. Envy sitting on stairs, Janan and Nana are pushing all the way up. Uh, Janan is going to try to get a pick inside of this uh, site here. 
Gonna get lit low. Envy tries to rotate or flank kill, but Terry's there, wise to it, and then faces get a, gets another defensive for the team. Oh, and CC Green, CC Gianna and gets a kill on Premier League. Yunan is there for a kill on a face, and Terry gets the kill on to Gianna, and now it's a 1v2 situation for Yunano. Yunana into Terry there, and then he's gonna run into Kiyu pretty soon here. He gets the kill there too with a nice headshot. That was a nice clutch with uh, 20 something seconds ticking on the clock. That was a really clutch. You know what that means, though? Uh. He won the round? Code giveaway. Stream code giveaway? What? For what? 1v3. Technically. Nice. So after this, mm, or right now, or right when is that? Now. Oh, okay. Stream code giveaway. Anyway, the round went in favor of CC Elites because of, uh, I think that was Yunana? Yeah, Yunana's sick clutch there. CKZ is going to be coming around on the flank and gets green, and then he's possibly going to run into Envy. Yeah, he gets. Oh, wow. He runs into Envy, but then Gian in there is on the nice cover. He gets a kill on the CKZ, brings it back to uh, 4v4, but then uh, Yunana is dropped by face. Then CC Fate gets the trade kill on the face, and now it's a 3v3 situation. Really close matchup here. Trade kills are ridiculous. Gian in gets uh, dropped by Kiyu because he misses a shot. That's a 2v3 situation, they're gonna be working up through mid. CC Envy drops Q. Caillou. God, his name. His name. Uh, CC Fate gets a nice headshot on the premium lead, and then CC Envy there gets a nice headshot on the Terry. And that was a great play by CC Envy and CC Fate. And that's another round win in favor of CC Elite, and that's. That this is a bit. A bit of a shock. They're on the offensive side of things and they're pulling out more rounds at the moment. I would have thought CC Elites to be doing so well, considering they're like how bad they got destroyed on the first map. Like, yeah. This is surprising me. Um, CC Green's there to get the kill on the premium lead, not a 5v4 situation in favor of CC Elites. They're gonna be setting up to take over one probably. There's only one player if they if they just push in right now. If they just if they just threw some balls. Uh, they're pushing in, yeah, there you go. They're gonna run into face uh, and Terry, but then Terry and face uh, get the couple of trade kills there, and then uh, Green is there in sight, possibly. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, he's only, only one player up. I thought he had a teammate in mid or something, but uh, Terry, I think that was a 4k for Terry. Terry killed one player in mid, and then two players in sight, and then that final player in the back of sight, so yeah. That was great. Great job by Terry there for his team, and gets the first round for UCG. CC Lead's going to be running this similar offense where they got two players playing really, really passive at ramp, and then two players mid, and then one player at warehouse. CKZ messing up oh. with headshots. <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw it. I... for it. Dang. Come on, CKZ. Easy shot on a guy that was probably- he was probably just standing there too, huh? Gianna. Anyway, it's 5v4 advantage for CC Elites. Um, they're gonna be setting up for a one take probably pretty soon here. They have three players at one, two players in mid looking to rotate to one. CC Fate's gonna be running into Premium Lee possibly really soon. Yunana's gonna be ro okay. Uh, now I think they're gonna be setting up to take over two. They've got C4 heading to two. 
two players kind of making noise at one. I think they're just faking it over there. And they're going to be pushing double door pretty soon here, I think. I don't know what they're doing. There they go. Oh, Premium League gets the first kill on the CCNV, but then Fate's there on the trade. And then, uh... <laughs> he was going to be trading... Kai was going to be trading bullets with, uh... Green, but then gets dropped by Yunana, and then faces over there getting the kill onto uh, the the noisemaker Gian, and, and now it's a three v one situation for Face. Two players sitting at like one HP, and then uh, Sissy Face sitting at full HP. So I mean, he could. Oh, he's getting lit up through the smoke though, and then he gets dropped by Sissy Face with the pair, and now it's three to one in favor of Sissy Elites. Yeah, Sissy Elites is just finding all the holes and uh, penetrating them. And uh, Cizu is going to be setting up for a site one. Three players on ramp, one player mid, two players mid now. No, now two players mid stud. Or mid ish. Then <laughs> I, I like to call that a uh, office area mid for some reason. I don't know. My brain is it's kind of broken. You know, we mentioned how CKZ was able to carry, but uh, that's when he was landing his shots. Now when he does his like aggressive pushing up on his own and he doesn't make any shots. Like as we just saw here, he had quite a few kills here. He's going to get one, two. No, he's only going to get one with face getting the other on Janan. Oh, that's unfortunate. He could have pretty much shut down that entire round there. He able to do it. It is now 4v3 advantage for CC Elites. Premium, premium Elite is going to be possibly running into CC Envy again. Um, premium, premium Elite got the better of that trade first. Uh, the first, I guess you could say round, or their first trade, their first confrontation. But it doesn't matter, he's going to rotate all the way around to 1. There's a, a lot of rotating going on, I guess. Uh, Kai is there. Man. Yeah, he gets a nice kill onto Kai, or onto CCNB as he tried to go into sight. Uh, Face is there on the side defense onto Yunana now. It's a 1v3 situation for CC Green. He's probably not going to pull it off. He doesn't pull it off. He gets dropped by Face. So I guess you see the fighting back? Yep, fighting back a little bit. They got two rounds for them. Or two rounds in favor of their cause. Three players on ramp right now. John gets the shot into CKZ, stops him from making it to red and possibly causing a lot of damage. Five players up for the CC Elites team. They're going to be setting up for another one take. That's what they <clears throat> seem to like to do a lot of the time. Yudana gets picked by. Uh, see, Key, Kai, 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 his name. Uh, Gianna gets a kill into sight onto face. Now they're going to be pushing into sight. There's going to be uh, a 3v2 ish situation going on in sight. Uh, now it's a 4v2 about to happen. Premium Envy League. Envy loses the of sight though. <laughs> yeah, that was unfortunate. Um, Terry's going to be trading a few bullets into Gianna, and now it's up to CC Fate, I think, sitting at full ish HP to take out Terry. Get the bomb and take out Terry, possibly. Oh, uh, no, he got it. He made a round. Oh, no. Kaio into CC Green. That's a 2v2 situation. Really close situation. They're going to be playing together at the moment. Uh, they're going to be pushing that back door. Possibly, yep. Terry gets a nice 2k there. <laughs> you were just, uh, Janon. They weren't covering each other. Yeah, they were, they were playing that front door a little bit. Too passive and randomly aggressive, and that was just unfortunate timing. UCG Terry was there to get the bullets. Uh, one of those players, they're sitting at half and one HP, so I mean, it's pretty easy to kill. Now it's tied at three all. CC Fate opens up the round with a kill on a premium lead over at two. Right, gonna pushing have to on the work. Side. Yeah. Unable to do it. Two players drop now at two again, and then Terry's there for the defense. He runs it two players. He gets a 2k, but then he gets dropped by Gian, and, and then uh, CC Envy, I believe, was there for the kill in the face. And that's a round win for CC Elites. Four to three.
we are going to have uh, CC Elites take control of Warehouse and Double D it looks like. They are going to send their scope channel up first. This pick on Ka Kuryoko. CC Fate and Premium Lead trading off a few bullets over there at Warehouse. Uh, I think ECG is going to be wise with this two setup. They're going to be rotating nearly all of their players now. And now it's all going to go down. Three players going up against... Well, I don't even know, like, all this action. Um, now it's... Three situation, CC Leeds has the two. I'd say the positional advantage is definitely UCG right here. Yeah, they got that bomb right in front of them pretty much. So, it's up to CC Leeds to make a move. CC and V and Fate sitting around the same HP, and they got three players sitting around full ish. Envy's gonna try to pick uh, Kuryoku here, I think. Uh, Kuryoku getting the better trade there. Fate with the kill on the face, and now it's a 2v2 situation. Oh wow, CC Fate with a nice shot on CKZ, and now it's a 1v2 situation, and then CC Fate on the third kill. That was a great, great round for CC Fate. You got three kills to pretty much clutch it. CC Envy was just there as a tool, pretty much. Essentially. Good meat and shield. Yeah, good meat shield, and he's actually he's sitting at 11 and 4 for his team now at uh, top frag. And winning that round put them into a pretty favorable favorable situation. Five to three on the offensive side of, of this map. Pretty ridiculous. That's gonna put it that's gonna make it a really easy defensive side for them. CKZ opens up with a kill on the enemy scope Gianan and then CCNV gets a kill of his own onto uh, premium lead, bringing it to four, a 4v4 situation. Yunana gets a nade kill on Terry, then face pushes out of sight, aggressive, gets one kill, but then he gets dropped by Yunana, and then uh, CKZ is on, is there on, uh, He's on the flank here, he might uh, get get this double kill. Charge set. Yeah, he's playing pretty aggressive there. Really smart, they don't even know he's there. <laughs> he comes in on the flank, gets kill on the, on the uh, CC Fate. And then another kill onto CC Fate. That was a nice shot by CKZ across the map. He actually landed it onto somebody in front of sight and uh, actually put him in a really favorable situation. There was a 3v2 situation there, but then that kill across the map actually. Both the last remaining members of UCG pretty much clutched it out for their team there. Mm hmm. When CKZ. But not do that again so they can tie it up uh, 5 to 5. CKZ missing most of his uh, opportunities to get uh, fixed at mid here. Prima getting a nice shot on Nana. And here come the nades. Well, the fail nades. <laughs> yeah, CC fake gets a nade on to... Oh wow, another nade. Two nade kills by the CC leads team. Puts them uh, into... Actually, they're still kind of down. Uh, it's a 2v1. Oh wow. <laughs> CKZ lands a shot across the map again. On to CC... I think that was Gianna. And now it's a 1v1 situation for CC and B and CKZ. Envy does have half HP, so he's not going to tag any shots. Uh, and CKZ is playing like the most uh, safest spot you could have possibly play. In spawn, at least. And Envy is actually going to push up through spawn when it's pretty clear that the scope would go there first. I don't know if he wants to actually confront the scope. CKZ is probably just going to camp the entire round. Uh -oh. Shot misses. No! 
He couldn't I'll pull that off. He, he landed the headshots, too. CKZ actually... brings his team to tie it up 5-5. Five to five. <laughs> That was really clutch 1v2 uh, play by CKZ. He had 1 HP there, too, on that last kill after getting lit up. That was uh, really, really clutch. And now we're down to the final round of this half. So good luck to either team. <laughs> I have no idea who's gonna win it. Yeah, it's really, really close. I mean, I think I know what the outcome of the f of this map is gonna be, but this half, it's could be either or. They're not really landing any nades. Just kind of making a lot of noise. CC Leeds is going to be setting them for a two push, possibly. They've got four players. They're, all right, they're pushing in. They're going in hard. Lands a nice hatch on a CKZ. Uh, CC Green gets a kill on a Q. Caillou. Every time. <sighs> Terry gets a kill on Dijon and at one. And now they're going to be rotating to site two right now. Or UCG is going to be rotating, rotating to site two. Premium Lee is going to meet up with CC and Beats, and then Yunana lands a nade on a face, and then CC Green comes in on kill with these, onto Premium Lee, and then Terry gets a kill of his own on the green, and then he's cleaned up by Yunana. So that's a good half in favor of CC Elites, and they actually win it on the offensive side. So what the heck? Come on, UCG. Yeah, but it was pretty close, 6 to 5. Uh, I think UCG just didn't have like a really good uh, setup on two and uh, CC Elites were just taking that and that's where they got most of their round wins I think. Yeah, for this uh, half of the map though I think CC Elites seeing as they, sh they showcased their ability to win on a heavily defensive sided map they're probably going to take this yeah, fairly. Yeah, seems like the logical uh, choice. Don't disappoint me CC Elites. They're about to get 6 0'd by uh, UCG. Yeah. First map. First map, they definitely. What was, what was the score of that one? 6 1? On the first map? Yeah, it was 6 1. First so, map. I, mean, <laughs> it's, I guess it's possible. It is definitely possible. But the probability is just not really there. Did the game start? No. Uh, no. Somebody DC'd? We went one uh, map without a dead round. It was pretty much expected. Nice. The walrus lost its balloon, so the walrus doesn't fly anymore. I don't know the saying, but it sounds fun. How many balloons would it take to uh, make a walrus float? A ridiculous amount. <laughs> because it takes... It takes thousands just for a, a little child. Well, would you need <laughs> multiple balloons or just one really big balloon? Like a blimp. I don't know. I think... I don't know. I don't think that's fair. I don't think the blimp is fair. Is that too OP? Is that like the death modus of flying contraptions for walruses? Balloons? Balloons? If, if we're talking like normal balloons, balloons. Are not they like helium or like... Uh, what? Now we're getting into specifics. Okay. Is that ruin in the fun? Anyway, uh, second half going here, or right now. CC Elite's on the defensive side, UCG on the offensive side. CC Elite's put themselves in really good positioning to take this map and actually win. Truly.
Looks like you're getting called out in chat by Caillou. How does it feel to be called out by a two-year-old? <laughs> yeah, Ka Caillou just ripping me to shreds on stream here. Nice pick on C. CC Green's gonna get the rest kill on Phase, but Terry uh, Terry's gonna come back and get the kill on Green. They do get control of Warehouse, but they are down uh, two to five. Shannon gets another pick on Caillou. And we just walks in to kill Terry. Three, four premium. Is he gonna be able to clutch this out, give everyone a stream code, or is he going to fail his team and be down 1 0 in the first round? All the pressure. And he's going to fail everyone in the chat, unable to clutch. <laughs> Yeah, first round goes to CC Elites. They just need six more of those, and that they... is a lot of M67 grenades, fam. <laughs> no one from CC Elites is actually pushing out as heavily as UCG used to push out. Uh, they were pushing down to like red container in front of one, uh, but all of CC Elites are just sitting inside of one actually. We're gonna have to. Z here to get a pick and open it up, or a nade kill. Fade is actually really close to that door. I feel like if CKZ makes any shots on Janon there, Fade's gonna Fade's getting told to push out right now. I think. Actually, Janon just uh, beats him at his own game, shooting him across the map. <laughs> uh, is gonna be sitting over it. Long, possibly trying to get a flank kill or maybe a rotational kill. Yunana opens up with uh, his kill. His was that first kill for him? Yeah, first kill. And then faces there on the trade kill onto Yunana. <laughs> CC Fade pushes out, gets a kill onto Terry, but then he's uh, dropped by Face. CC Envy gets a kill onto face, but then now it's Kiryoku versus two CC Elite players. He has a pair. I mean, if he lands a headshot or two, he's pretty set. The funny thing is that uh, these guys are sitting in their spawn waiting for uh, uh, Caillou to get the bomb instead of directly pushing him. Actually, Greed is going to try to work down into the corner. Shannon is just looking across on that cross there. Yeah, I'm not sure. He has one hit though, so if uh, Kai, you can see him. Kiryu is he's gonna inside. go for the bomb plant now. Green is inside the site now. Oh, I able oh. to take down one, but Janon. That was a clutch sliver. shot by Janon, yeah. I, Sliver of HP and managed to get the shot on the Kiryoki there. Yeah, you might have gotten the spray down like collateral uh, damage. But that didn't occur, and Janon is actually 5 0. Oh. Yeah, he's actually doing real well for his team there. Um, putting him in great situations to win this. Premiumly opens up with a frag onto Gianan. That was the flying Superman right there. <laughs> Jumped off the ledge and spray. Premium Lee is going to be running into Yunana here. Then CKZ, CKZ is there for the backup, and uh, UCG is going to be setting up for a one take. Gonna be up here. To here to get kill. Fade and Envy both getting two kills, uh, getting a kill each. I mean, Terrier coming in, getting Fade, Envy getting Caillou. 1v2 for Envy. Low HP, only for Ask. Face is just gonna take him out. So that's the first round for UCG. Uh, UCG's having a really difficult time on defense uh, when they really shouldn't be. Um, I mean.
Here, I see, yeah, I see what you're trying to say. That's what I was trying to say. Cecily pretty much showed him how it was done, and the UCG isn't able to pick up the pace. Yeah, it seemed like Cecily, whether their scope was alive or not, they were still able to. T Yeah, and they're already sitting down a player, probably because of an early pick or something. And their scope is just burning time right now. Might get the pick of Janan, but... Didn't notice that there, Kiryoku picked up scope, let CKZ go to rifle. Yeah, they've been swapping around lately. They're setting up over at 1 now. Good shots by Nana there. Way too much action going on right now. TC leads takes the round with uh, Fate getting a double kill at the end there. Three to one for CC leads on defense. All of UCG heading towards Warehouse, Green in there, they're probably going to meet up with each other. Green's turn to shine does not uh, come to fruition as... Janon is going to be scoping into this front Warehouse store. Emery's going to push up actually. No, no kills. Nana is actually going on a flank right now. CZ taking the <laughs> CKZ just flanking, counter flanking everyone, and Kaya takes down Yunana on that flank. Yeah, that was great play by UCG there to pick up a much needed round to pretty much playing for their. Uh, well, not tournament live, I guess. They they got the loser bracket to look forward to, I suppose, but still, it'd be much easier if they just went on to the winner bracket final. So they're really playing, playing to win here. John's pushed up pretty uh, far here at Hole. Terry or uh, Terry might push out. It's going to be face first. He tagged. To run. We do see CKZ once again being sneaky and coming up uh, through the spawn here. Is he able to get the random headshot on Envy? <laughs> it's not like, it's now a five before situation. In advantage of the ECG, but I mean, still, it is the defensive side of things. CC Green's uh, CC Green misses a guy there. He didn't see him at two. He's gonna run and try and rotate over to one and set up for that sight defense. He's gonna rotate in sight with CC Fate. Kurioku, Terry, and Face are all just sitting there at one. Kurioku gets a shot on a CC Fate into sight. Now they're probably going to be pushing in a site here yet. CC Fate drops, or Green, CC Green drops one, and then uh, Terry's there on the rotate, on the rotate, on the trade, excuse me, and then Gian and Yunana get a kill, a couple kills of their own. Now it's a 2v2 situation. Bit of an advantage for CC Leads. CKZ sitting at 1 HP, and then Kurioku sitting at half. Oh, now it's about even. Yunana sitting at 1 HP as well, and Gianna sitting about half as well. In 20 seconds, they are gonna have to hunt the palm soon. Yunana gets a kill with 1 HP onto Kurioku. Now it's a 1v2 situation for CKZ. He's gonna have to push both players, but then he gets dropped by Yunana with another 1 HP kill to CKZ. Now it's 4v2 in favor of CC Leeds. Run 
Giannin opens up the round with a kill on a Kuryoku. He shot him from Dumbledore's there. Now it's a 5v4 situation and advantage of CC Elites. Giannin's uh, running into premium at Dumbledore and uh, he missed a the shot there. He's gonna get lit up by CC Fate and then killed uh, eventually. And then Terry's there on the uh, kill on the CC Fate and mid, and that is now 2v4 situation. CC leads on top. Terry gets a kill on the green. Now it's a 3v2 situation. Terry's at about half HP. CKC sitting at full HP. If they can get CC envy without taking any uh, HP penalties from bolts, then they should be sitting at a, in pretty good positioning to win the round. Oh, no, no, doesn't matter. Gian is there for a kill on the Terry. Now it's a 1v3 situation for CKZ. He gets a nice uh, retreating headshot onto CCMB, but he's sitting at half HP, so he can be cleaned up fairly easily if uh, Yunana gets the bullets that he needs into him. I, I believe oh. Yunana's. Oh, wow. How is he doing this? He gets the first pre fire headshot, and then he gets the crouching uh, repeated headshot on the scope. But uh, CKC is sitting at really, really low HP. He's going to pick up a scope, though, so. This might end up going in favor of CKZ. Oh, he's gonna pick the bottom there. He's not gonna. Oh no! Yeah, he, he looks at the bottom and tries to flick upwards towards Yunana. Or so. I think that's at least what happened. Because he kind of missed an easy shot if he was looking directly up up top. Anyway, uh, round goes to CC Elites. Another round, and they're sitting in really good positioning to win this map. And move on to the winter bracket finals, which will be next, by the way. So stay tuned. You can see that CC Elites is really eager to win this round as they're really far. They have backed off while UCG is roaming towards one sitting at that right container. Yeah, all of them shift walking too. They're playing incredibly quiet. They don't want uh, CC leads to have any clue what's going on. Yeah, that's in a great spot. He gets the first kill. Unable to get the second kill. But CC Fate is there to back him up. Actually, CC Fate is going to get taken out and Envy too by CKZ. This could be a round for UCG. Yeah, it's looking like a round win for UCG indeed. I don't think Gianna knows that Face is there in the corner. He's gonna get dropped. Oh, what? No scope. Okay. Get on. Oh no, Gianna's gonna get dropped, but then CC Green's gonna come on the flank. It's a kill there. Terry's the only one up for his team. Can Terry pull it out? Oh, Terry! Oh no! Oh. <laughs> he couldn't make the corner. And that was a great 1v2 <laughs> situation for CC Green there. Uh, Gianna got a sick no scope in the sight. In, I think that was in the smoke onto face, and uh, that's gonna be a good game. Good game for CC Elites. They move on to the winner brackets finals, which is coming up real soon, people. So stay tuned.